the application part of this G-Shock or GGB100 well to do uh, any of the application shots or instructions first I would have to install the application and how we do that well it's done by uh, searching the Google Play Store and uh, typing the G-Shock Connect app and downloading it. Now I've done that previously but uh, I deleted it and unpaired the device so I can go through the same procedure again. Once we have installed the application just tap to open the app and the uh, G-Shock introduction on the logo will show up eventually. Now this is the terms of agreement, two pages, okay, you have to scroll to the bottom to get access to this option to agree and allow the, now we have to find our watch is the GGB 100 Madmaster and now to connect the watch press and hold the connect button uh, until the second hand points to R R stands for the ready so let's get zoom on the watch dial there is the R and the subdial flashes app and register the watch is shown on the app I'm gonna register the watch on the phone the registration was successful and now we have some um, options on the app so this is these are the basic um, references for the unit settings we can change the from the uh, metric to the uh, world standard system uh, I'm gonna leave it at this but it's uh, very easy to uh, set the units so once I've done and checked all of it I'm gonna send the um, settings to the watch and here are some basic information so this is uh, about this is regards to the um, uh, fourth sensor of the watch so it's uh, when whilst uh, they, it's uh, tracking our steps to have some basic info but uh, you can change it uh, afterwards I'm gonna send settings and the setting is complete now I'm gonna turn this option off because th this drains the battery and this is the welcome screen or the screen that sh is shown on the um, app what's there to show well uh, we have over here a guide a mission log uh, this will activate the altimeter mode and the um, compass mode and we can track our movement on the uh, G using the G watch G uh, phones GPS and the uh, getting the um, information on our phone S since this is a, a new watch and uh, there is not there's not too much steps on the on the um, watch dial or, or uh, sorry watch memory uh, it's um, it shows some basic um, or less information that it would uh, normally uh, use uh, would show and this is the calendar option of course we have a world time option and this button in the middle would um, switch the uh, world time with your home time currently the world time is set to Tokyo so uh, the other button the utility we can set up our daily alarms and hourly signal and the timer what's else to say uh, in the app uh, clicking the gear button on top I will uh, click on the watch and now I have a profile setting com um, unit setting mode customization uh, phone finder watch display settings on the watch display settings I'm gonna uh, I can um, change the uh, our format and the uh, units of the barometer and the altimeter I can set the operating so sound 
uh, time adjustment, altitude correction, uh, adjusting the home positions, uh, adjusting the home positions. This is uh, used to regulate the watch hands if the watch is off. Now, how to uh, uh, switch the hands? Well, pressing these one of two, one or two of these buttons, I can shift the uh, minute and the hour hand. I'm not gonna send the information to the watch because it's uh, well synchronized. Uh, summertime setting, uh, adjusting the method of calorie cal uh, cal can counting calories, and uh, what I wanted to say, I believe, well, watch display settings, uh, profile setting, uh, light setting, light setting also. Uh, there's a auto light enable or in a, uh, disable. That is the option to uh, when your wrist is uh, rotating towards you and you want to see what time it is, it will turn on the light automatically. Uh, and we have the duration for the uh, illumination duration when I press the uh, lower uh, uh, the L button or the big one. So, so the diode would last for one and a half seconds or the three seconds. I'm going to leave it at the one and a half seconds. And that's the basic uh, operations of this uh, application. Now I can use this application to track my uh, movement but the GPS has to be on. Also to use the application your Bluetooth must be turned on. So that would be the basics of your uh, Mudmaster or the G-Shock application regards, regarding the uh, watch. Uh, here is the step tracker as I shown earlier and uh, the guide to um, uh, access the, the watches tutorial now how can I uh, disconnect the watch now first thing would be to disconnect the watch from the app but I can disconnect the watch by pressing this button over here that, that's also how it's uh, connected and pressing it uh, it will disconnect you didn't see it but it on the main screen it showed that the watch was uh, disconnected how to uh, how to delete the pairing information go to the bottom press delete pairing information and now you can add your watch to a, a new phone deleting the pairing information from the watch now to do that operation I'm gonna first make sure that we are in the standard timekeeping mode and there we are uh, hold down the uh, upper left button uh, for about at least two seconds and then release the button when the name of the city is shown now press the again <clears throat> press the uh, upper left button and we'll have over here uh, the screen is, will show up and the seconds uh, will flash now I'm gonna hold down the up bar compass button uh, for at least two seconds and release it when the pair clear stops flashing and there it is that would uh, indicate the pairing information from the watch to enter the timekeeping mode back again press the upper left button and here we are back to the standard timekeeping mode deleted the pairing information of the watch from the watch